going on guys this is journey passion we are back again sorry for the lighting but y'all already know what time it is guys i told you in one of my first videos i'm trying to get that good lighting there you go i told you in one of my first videos that we were going to be making a video on how to your mp skull mount european skull mount any skull and guess what i told y'all to keep that squirrel skull and we are european mount of that squirrel skull we're gonna do it after i go to school as you can see i got my backpack on we're just walk into the bus but um I will see y'all after school and we will get started on it alright guys so I don't know if y'all can see me or not it looks like y'all can it's a hot day but this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video this is I'm walking back from the bus stop I told y'all I was gonna talk to y'all around when I got off the bus so we're gonna go in there we're gonna boil the head you're gonna need um 50% or no 40% peroxide 50% water um, you can buy that at beauty store, hair salon, or wherever you get, can get that. And then you're going to need some pliers and some super glue. And we will get ready, and I'll show you how we're going to have to skin the head, take all the tissue off, as much tissue as you can. If you have a power washer, that's going to be awesome. If you, you could just use a water hose, but uh, you'll need a pot, and let's get right into it. Alright, so we're just coming out here to grab our squirrel head that we let dry off, and we're going to take it aside and start scalping it. Alright guys, so, as you can see, here's our squirrel head, fully defrost, defrosted, we're going to put our gloves on, um, what you're going to need is your peroxide, it should look something like this, our, mine is the gel kind, you can get the liquid peroxide if you would like, but, um, it's already mixed with water, I've used it before, you can use it like, like 20 different times, but, uh, and then you need your knives, a small pot, depends how big, your head hit your head is like if you're boiling a hog you're gonna need a big pot a squirrel we're gonna use a small pot all right so we're just honing our knife real quick or yeah we're just honing it up making sure it's nice and sharp this is the outdoor wild bone edge I'll leave a link down in the description if y'all would like to go buy it all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the skin off we're gonna take all the skin and tissue off as much as you can so we're gonna make a slice right down the forehead to the nose to the back of the head and back just like that and it should open up like I said this is going to be a bit of a longer video just because this is my first time doing something like this so I don't know how long it should it will take or what I should what I should tell you what I shouldn't but as you can see it's opening up real nice and smooth and we're just going to take all the tissue off. Alright, so as you can see, we're just taking this mask off real quick. Basically, you would call it a mask. We're just going to go around, take the hole. You're going to take the nose off. You're going to... Basically, you're going to try and take all the tissue and it'll just help you out whenever you pressure wash it. Or it'll really help you out if you only have a water hose. Alright, so as you can see, we take it off all the skin, the mask, last cut, right there. Voila. Now, if you were to, if you were to keep that and tan it and everything, that's what it looks like. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that away. And now, squirrel heads—they don't have a lot of meat, but like if you were on a hog head or something, you know, you have to cut all that off. But real quick, we're just going to take as much as we can, even if it's just a little bit. Oh, and like I said it earlier, but I want to make sure you all understand. Um, get some pliers, like I said, some needle nose. The longest needle nose and the smallest, so you can get down in and get the brain out later. Alright, so as you can see, we put um, we took all of, as much as we could. You want to keep the head in contact intact. In you don't want to take the jaw off and all that, like you would in a bigger animal. Next what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and pour a mix of peroxide, 40% peroxide, and then the rest was water. We're going to go ahead and pour that inside the uh, pot. There we go. Now in my later videos, my next videos, um, soon this is going to run out, and then I'll show you all how I make it and everything like that, but for now, yeah. That, like I said, 40% peroxide, the rest is water, however big of a pot you're using. And I'll show you at the end of the video what the, the peroxide looks like, if I can find it. 
Alright guys, I forgot to say this. Do not do that. I forgot you boil it in water with a little bit, you know, maybe some OxyClean or some dish soap. Boil it in water until it reaches a boil, or no, until the meat starts peeling off the head. You want to put it in the water and let it boil. And once the meat starts peeling, you take it out. Then you power wash it, get all that meat off. Put it back in there with the peroxide. Then you take it out, wash it again, put it back in, and then take it out, wash it again, and then it should be perfect. Put some mopping glow, but we'll get into that in a minute. Alright guys, in our sake, since uh, some people only have water hoses, we're going to be using water hoses. I, I, um, I have it on jet right now, and as you can see, it's already white right here, and the meat is falling apart. That's when you know you take it out of the boiling water. And we're just going to pressure wash it basically. It's really hot, so it's going to be hard to grab. You should see all the meat fly off. Alright, so as y'all can see, I took all the meat on the outside. Now you just go in there and you get the, get the pliers. This is when you then this is when you separate the bottom and top jaw. That should just come in one piece. There's a little bit of cartilage in between the teeth that's holding them together. You're just gonna set that aside. Get all this tongue and everything out. Get all that out. You're gonna pressure wash it off. This water's hot. There we go, guys. Look at that. Coming out real good. Now, when we go in there, we're going to get a small screwdriver or something, and you got to pop those. Those are their ears. You're going to pop them, and I'll show you inside. Put all that. Alright, so we took them out. Once it reaches a boil, you stop it, take them out, and they should look like that. You're going to rinse them off, throw them back in there, and wait for the boil. Alright, so we rinsed them off. I'm going to throw them back in there. Now wait for the boil, take them out, rinse them off, and they should be ready to go. Power. Just to give it a good rinse. This is the last time it's going in the boil. All right, that was that's not going in the boil anymore. Is what I meant, is what I meant to say. Actually, you don't want them to sit and go ahead and dump that out. There we go. Rinse off the teeth, the jaws. Now we're going to take them aside and we got to super glue the bottom. We got to super glue these just like this. I might not show it on camera. But basically you're just going to super glue them like this so they can stay together. And then you're going to super glue the locks to their, to their uh, top head. And they should look like that. I'll show you all inside. Alright guys. This is the, hold on let me get the good lighting. Alright. This is the skull. As you can see. That's the top part. Um... It, it's awesome guys that's what it looks like that was that squirrel that we shot in the other video y'all can look at it we ran out of super glue so I can't super glue the bottom jaw and the top jaw but I hope y'all enjoyed this video I'll leave my subscription right here my channel's right here but um or my my channel right here my videos over here but other than that guys that's all I got for you today I love y'all and guess what I got that scope cam coming in tomorrow so y'all already know what it is with that scope cam we're gonna be y'all gonna be see everything we shoot and then i'm going to mississippi we're gonna do nothing but crappie fishing i got the gopros guys we're gonna make some we're gonna be doing some awesome videos and who knows subscribe because you never know i might be giving this away awesome score school i love y'all and last but not least there's a squirrel and subscribe turn on post notifications like this video and tell me what y'all want next i love y'all peace